Last week's video was awesome. I love tasting coffees and sharing about how we cup coffees here at Mirror Coffee Roasters, but this is the other side that I absolutely am excited about. It's the tech, it's the gear, it's the, the, the gadgets that help us up our coffee game in whatever we're doing, whether that's an espresso machine, whether that's filters, whether that's procedures, um, workflow, or maybe it's grinders. Yeah, today we'll be unboxing the EK43 and sharing about why we actually made the jump to purchasing the EK43 from Alcone. scary, not gonna lie. Holy cow. This thing looks freaking majestic. Oh yeah. All right, there it is in all its glory and beauty and majesty. Just some things, something that I'm noticing right off the top is that um, they, they've made a little bit of aesthetic changes or maybe I'm, I just haven't seen one or looked so closely. It's got this like rugged industrial coating on it, which I'm actually kind of digging. I like that, that vibe, that feel, but uh, yeah, here it is. This is this is super exciting. I'm extremely excited to be start using this at the roastery, start using this for our cuppings, tastings, uh, brewing, uh, especially brewing, which we'll talk about a little bit later. That plays a huge part as to why we made the massive investment. But uh, yeah, here's the here's that little hopper, which I'll just throw on way later. This barely fits in the shot already, so. Doesn't need to be much taller. So let's get into this. So why did we end up investing over $3,000 for this coffee grinder just to grind coffee beans? Like couldn't we just buy any other grinder that could have been a little cheaper or different in any way? Well, there's three reasons why we why we chose this grinder specifically. So number one is that it's, it's a long-term investment. We are hoping and planning to be around as a coffee roasting company for quite some time for the years to come. And so why not invest into a good durable gear that is actually nowadays a s industry standard. Nearly every cafe that you can walk into has this grinder in particular. It gets the job done, it does um, really good work, it can crush through a lot of coffee, and not only that, but it's it's also being used on barista championships, brewers cup championships. Uh, this is the industry standard, and if we wanna stick around for the years to come as a coffee roasting company, which I hope we do, that's the goal, that's the vision, um, then we should be investing into industry standard gear or gear that can actually stand the test of time, that can actually get the job done really well. And one thing is like investing into cheaper gear that maybe has not been known to uh, stand the test of time especially, it's kind of scary because in the short term you could save a little, but in the long term, it might come back and bite you. So that's the first reason that we wanted to invest into the EK43. So the second reason why we decided to go with the EK43 and pull the trigger on it and buy it is simply that it actually does what you need it to do and not just doing it what it needs to do and like I talked about in the last point is that it's durable but it actually does it really really well. There's a reason why people use it in the barista championships and the brewers cup championships. There's a reason that it's an industry standard as I was saying in many cafes because it actually does a spectacular job at grinding coffee. And there's just one caveat to this is that when I was going to buy this grinder and we were talking about investing into one we started doing some research and we figured out that 
when these grinders are purchased brand new, a lot of their burrs are not aligned straight out of the box. And burr alignment is gonna have to do with a big part of it actually being accurate, consistent, and doing a great job at actually grinding coffee uh, the way it should. And I was kind of bummed that at that price point, you'd have to think about burr alignment inside straight out of the box. But thank God we bought it from a distributor that was able to hook us up with a service that would align the burrs very, very well. And if we could pay for a little bit of service and alignment to get the quality that it can actually do at its greatest potential, why not? And so we're so excited to be actually using this for our QC, our cuppings, our brewing here at the roastery, uh, the V60s, the pour overs, the batch brews, which we use to kind of get a feel as to what our coffee can offer. And hopefully for the years to come when potentially we may open up a storefront cafe, this will fit in extremely well into that setting. And number three, probably one of the most important reasons why we ended up pulling the trigger on it right now is that we actually need it immediately. Uh, over the last 10 months of owning the coffee roasting company, we've been able to kind of work around grinding coffee, whether that's for customers or whether that's for clients, wholesale accounts. We've kind of been able to work around that. I have uh, a coffee grinder at home that we used for some time and I'm asking people to borrow their grinders and it was just kind of like a difficult situation when you don't have all the equipment that you need to execute the work and the opportunities that you need to take care of. And so um, one of the bigger things that has come up with us is that we've started to brew big cold brew five gallon batches for clients for uh, tap houses around town. And for cold brew, we're, we're grinding at about five pounds per batch or so, uh, maybe a little less, maybe more depending on batch size, but that's a lot to try to grind that through my slightly lower end commercial grinder is gonna be difficult experience. We've tried it and we've kind of made something work, but it's been difficult. So this thing is actually going to help us immediately with some of the client work and the wholesale accounts that we have. Um, and it kind of takes the stress off of, you know, wearing out other grinders or finding somebody out around town that would be able to help us. So um, yeah, this is actually going to bring a return of investment pretty soon because we're already getting work that requires this grinder. After thinking about it, and I mean, we waited like two weeks for the grinder to show up, which gave me a lot of time to think about. But after pondering on it, I realized, yes, it's definitely worth it, especially with the work that we're getting immediately. And then on top of that, thinking like, hey, this is a long-term investment that we won't have to make later on. But also it's going to up a lot of the QC that we're doing, the brewing that we're doing here at the roastery. We're gonna be able to gain a better understanding of our coffee and it's, gonna help us in multi-faceted ways. So um, we're pretty excited about that. We're pretty stoked to start using this. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, for tuning in and kind of listening our thoughts on investing into coffee gear, uh, expensive coffee gear. Hopefully this brought some kind of value to you guys. If you guys wanna stay tuned, hit that subscribe button. Otherwise you guys take it easy and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.